Hi, my name is Ethan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a Salesforce certified admin and work as a Salesforce admin as my day job. Today, we're going to look at how to debug a flow. So if you watched my previous video, I would highly recommend it because this is the flow we created. Um, I went ahead and activated the flow for that, but I wanted to show off the debug features. And if I was at work creating a new flow, I would debug my flow before activating it. So we're in here editing the flow. This is the one we created in the last video. We're going to select the debug button. So I'm actually going to start us off at uh, run the flow as if a record is updated first. Uh, we're going to run it immediately. There's no other options. Um, we could skip the start conditions uh, if you have some set up. But uh, as you know, we don't have any start conditions for this flow. It's going to run anytime an account record is created or updated. So what's cool is, is um, you need this. You can select right here pretty easily what account you want to use to trigger this flow. So we're going to use this and we're going to go over here and we're going to change the account rating field to hot as our test and we're gonna hit run we'll see what happens all right perfect what i love that salesforce does is it highlights the path the flow took it looks like electricity right i love that so it came in and went the hot route because that's what we updated it to and if you look over here to the right decision rating outcome executed hot outcome conditions and it's good it's just checking left to right right so it's like outcome executed hot outcome conditions record rating hot equals hot all conditions met boom so then it went here over to priority high which update records priority high so let's take a look what happened here so it ran in and you see this customer priority that's the field we want to update it set that value to high so our flow worked perfectly for changing the value from uh changing the customer priority value to high so that's great so i want to check the other two so let's debug again all right, so it auto already pull, automatically pulls this up. We're going to change the customer rating to warm now. We just did hot. I'm going to run it. Look at that. Boom, straight through. Perfect. You can look at the rating. So it's going to check the hot one first. Record rating warm equals hot. Warm equals hot. Well, that doesn't match up. And then it says warm equals warm. Boom, it ran that. So, yep, send it down this way. Then it updated. Look at that. Customer priority equals medium. That's exactly what it, we wanted it to do. We're going to debug this one more time. Check that third condition. Oh, cold right here. Oopsie. It was already on cold. My bad. We're going to run it. The electricity runs over here through the cold section. And as you can see, it checked it hot. It checked it warm. But then it, so if the first two, and what the way Salesforce is going to run this, it works left to right. So hot, warm, and then if it isn't either of these two, there's no conditions to check for this one. As you can see, um, excuse me, under the decisions that you can see, hot has conditions, warm has conditions, but cold, if it ain't those two, it's got to be the third one, right? So that's why it sent it down there. And if you look, it set the customer priority to low. Perfect. All right, let's debug this one more time. That's uh, for updated. Let's do created. And that is the account we're using here. So if it's created, what's it going to do? And it's actually going to look at what the current rate, like what the rating is right now. So we're going to run it. Look, cold. Look at this. Set up to cold. It ran through. Same decisions. And yep, it passed for us. All right, let's just test one more time here. Let's change this to hot. What will happen here? Let's debug. Exact same setup. Run it. Look at that. Boom. So, yep, it passed, which is great. So the debug feature is awesome, especially if you're working um, in an org and you're wanting to develop new features and you want to make sure it works before you activate it. And most time you are working in a sandbox environment. So, it's not as crucial, but I like to do the testing because you get some really detailed um, notes here, especially if there's something um, like you have a more complicated flow and something's broken. You can kind of break it down, especially with the decisions. You can see which way this bad boy is flowing and you can see where the breakdown is. So I hope you have found value in this video, um, learning how to debug. And I'll make more videos in the future as we explore more flows. But if you found value in this, please like the video, comment, subscribe, share with your friends that are in Salesforce, and please be on the lookout for that next video. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.